<clears throat> Today, I'm going to bloviate about the absurd search for E.T. the extra testicle. Now, scientists these days have some of the most flawed reasoning I've ever seen. Um, it's no coincidence that the kook who invented the uh, Big Bang Theory was a priest because uh, he assumed everything has, has to have a beginning. But in science, you can't even ask that question because first you have to demonstrate that everything does have a beginning and there's no evidence to suggest such a thing. Now, with E.T., the extra testicle, um, why do people look? Now, this is my theory. Um, I think it has to do with something deeply rooted in the old parts of the human brain and uh, that are attached to this big fat thing that uh, is all screwed up and messed up. And, uh, you know, the human brain is like... Uh, uh, a super duper computer where unfortunately the more complex a machine the more things that can go wrong with it and the further along you go the less able the meat machine is able to see or understand where it's gone off the rails and searching for ET the extra testicle is an example of this now Back in the late 50s, um, some biologists, not astronomers, uh, none of the tinfoil hat uh, theoretical physicist types uh, or any of those, but biologists were asked uh, what the odds of extra testicular life existing elsewhere in the universe were. And their reply, and this was uh, a group of them, their reply and their unanimous reply at the time was that the odds of life existing elsewhere in the universe were about the same as taking the Encyclopedia Britannica. That was our source of information before the interweb. And, uh, you know, it's a shelf about that long of books and you take it, you separate out the pages and you toss them up in the air, and if they miraculously fall back in exactly the same order and orientation, well, that's about the same odds-wise as uh, finding life out there in the, uh, in the universe. Now, the point being that it is statistically possible, but not bloody likely, now, that is a key point here because uh, the dingbats looking for extra t testicular life are looking for ourselves, and they don't even know it. Uh, they're making fools of themselves. There's nothing out there. There never will be, uh, and here's why. Um, statistically... Even if something is statistically possible, that doesn't mean it can or ever will happen. Now, the human brain is majorly messed up in this area. We have this thing called an imagination. And unfortunately, the imagine can conceive of things that cannot ever exist. No possibility, no nothing. But because we can conceive of these things, there is the tendency in homo, homo erectile dysfunctional, otherwise known as homo saps, um, to believe that these things are in the realm of possibility or probability. Ooh. Now, why do we have this urge? I've been thinking about this since I was a child. And the best answer I can come up with is this. Um, animals go looking for mates and they go looking up there and uh, if you're a slug you go looking for a mate and if you go if you're a beetle bug you go looking for a mate and if you're an early human you go looking for homo saps like yourself key thing 
looking out there for ourselves built into us, built into our DNA, built into our sex drive and everything else. And homo saps are blissfully unaware of what they're doing. Now, here's the thing. Um, homo saps uh, evolved to do this, and every other form of life evolved to do this, to prevent inbreeding. Because just through natural selection, Things that breed with further away things have less genetic disasters than the ones that just pick their brother or sister or the thing living next door. The further out you look, the healthier the gene pool. Those ones reproduce and produce offspring that are more intelligent and better. And blah, 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 blah. Um, but that isn't doesn't have a, a component of awareness as far as uh, our genetics go. Um, we did things for millions, even billions of years that improved the uh, species, but uh, that doesn't mean we're aware of them. And this is the problem with Homo saps. Uh, we go looking for... Uh, you ever notice how, when it comes to like science fiction, and uh, the tinfoil hat types are usually into science fiction, and uh, the dweebs that are into SETI are almost always into, you know, their Trekkies or Star Wars or whatever. And it's all tinfoil hat stuff and science fantasy. Like, uh, there's nothing scientific about traveling faster than the speed of light. If you were able to travel faster than the speed of light, the thing, the container you're traveling in, would become a great big ex uh, particle accelerator experiment. If you ran into something the size of a pea, you'd be annihilated. If you ran into something, if you were traveling in, you know, like in Trekkie land at 10 times the speed of light, if you ran into a grain of sand, you would be obliterated. You can't, even if you could travel faster than the speed of light, you would be annihilated. There's nothing scientific about it. And there's nothing out there to begin with. There's this built-in urge in homo saps, in homo erectile dysfunctional, to uh, stick its private parts in the private parts of something out there. Look at how many uh, representations in science fiction, you know, the beautiful alien and, uh, you know, the, uh, and it's very much like, ooh, exotic f females from, oh, I don't know, the Pacific Islands, <laughs> only a little further out. And uh, that's, that's my theory in a nutshell. I think this idiocy uh, involving E.T., the extra testicle, is just human mating drive and, uh, and the human imagination gone terribly wrong, uh, doomed to failure, um, delusional, deluded, and it's from that cesspool that also gave, it gave us art, that's cool. But it also gave us religion, Ugh, the most poisonous evil force on the face of the planet. And it's tied in with that, that uh, uh, homo saps being pathetic, deluded creatures looking for and believing in things that cannot and will not ever exist. It's the same thing with UFOs. You know, what does everybody say? Do you believe in UFOs? Do you believe in aliens? That tells you all you need to know about the search for extra testicular life. <laughs> Losers.